I'm Marty McDonald. I'm an executive vice president here at Fogger More Time, and we are a full service integrated marketing agency. So we offer all the different disciplines from public relations to advertising to website design, digital, uh, SEO, you name it, we have them all here in one stop. Discovery is where we start with our clients. When we're kicking off a new relationship or a new project, a new scope, it all begins with discovery and we essentially get reduced back to that question of why. We get to show up and ask our clients, why are you doing X, Y, Z? And show us, show us what things look like today. What's the current state? What's working and what isn't? It's a lot of asking questions. Sometimes our clients get so close to their work that they forget why they set out to do something or hit a particular objective at all. So discovery allows us to, to help get them out of that zone that they're so comfortable in and get back to what really matters and how they should be spending their time. It's a really fun part of the process and it sets the foundation for everything we do from that point forward. I think our clients really understand discovery when we set expectations well. I think if we're working with a client who hasn't been through a discovery process before, we need to make sure we set up front um, the expectation for why we're asking so many questions and that it's not just an endless battery, but that we're going somewhere. And there will be a point where we, we shift and we pivot from asking and input gathering to distilling down. We can take a look at everything that's going on and look across to see if it's consistent. And then once we've done all that, once we've spent all that time, we need to then pivot and go somewhere and start making new recommendations. So we have to filter out what matters um, and what's really important. One of the discovery processes that I can remember was concept testing we did for an advertising campaign to reach millennials on behalf of Travel Nevada. We developed a campaign platform for a new advertising direction and started testing that with their core audience. And in the background, the secondary kind of element of that campaign was this uh, old cowboy song called Don't Fence Me In. That's really what our audience reacted to, was the idea of freedom and what that song was about. And that was much more interesting to them than the thing that we were selling. We reworked the whole campaign because we listened well, and what we did is pulled that idea of Don't Fence Me In to the forefront and made that more of a rallying cry or a mantra. And we did stickers and we designed a logo for Don't Fence Me In. We did, had a hashtag and we took that socially, and that was a really important insight that changed our whole plan going forward. I really believe that it's custom every time, that clients are so different. The industries, especially for a generalist firm like us, we work in a lot of different industries. It's about preparation. I think having a good questionnaire, a good plan for discovery, it feels like an open-ended, curious, endless process, but you still need a plan. You need to bucket out on the front end what you're setting out to learn so that you'll know when you're done and can shift into making recommendations. The most important skills I see for today's students are basically having a diverse background. So what we look for when we're hiring for a position here, because we're full service integrated marketing, we're looking for variety. We're looking for students who've held internships or taken a variety of coursework. I believe that we should all as practitioners today kind of have our eyes up and that's kind of a cheesy analogy, but they use it in race car driving. If you have your eyes up and you're looking further down the road, you'll make better decisions and more thoughtful decisions about where you need to go. So for us, the eyes up mentality is it's kind of about looking further down the road, but also about paying attention to what's going on in the world around you. I always ask candidates when we're interviewing, you know, tell me some brands you think are doing it right, who are doing it well, just who do you admire? So it shows that they're paying attention, that they're curious minded, and that they are developing a point of view on a daily basis. And I think that's really important.